Oh, no, no. No. I'm the type of dude who will not remain nameless. I'm the type of dude who is headed for greatness. I'm the type of dude who could really make changes. Cause I'm the type of dude that's becoming contagious. I'm the type of dude that will always be ageless. I'm the type of dude that will always feel shameless. I'm the type of dude that they say is fucking heinous. Cause I'm the type of dude that you know is fucking dangerous. What's up guys? T Croc here. Welcome to the vlog and Here's my dog, Mila. Hello. She decided to join the video or the vlog. <laughs> you, you bored? You yawning now? <laughs> okay, then. Well, anyways, so a couple weeks ago, did a video about top five things that I love about 3G. And of course, now we're going to do the top five things I don't like about the 3G. And these are not in any kind of particular order. This is just five things that I do not like about the 3G. Number one will be the dash. Every 3G owner knows this, the infamous crack dash. This is why I don't even have a dash in my car right now. Literally, it just cracks in all pieces. It's just, the quality of it is poorly made. They do make dash covers. I've had one that was okay. It was kind of like an overlay. But just literally dreading that if I have to do anything interior-wise on a 3G, worrying about the dash literally exploding or any kind of the pieces just cracking and I have to put it back is one thing that I do not like about the 3G. Number two of the thing I do not like about the 3G it is going to be the wheel gap. Now, when I talk about the wheel gap, now when you lower the 3G and you close that wheel gap, it looks great. But I'm talking more to say the arch of that wheel gap because... What I don't like about it is no matter how big of a wheel that you put on the 3G, it still feels like that you cannot fill and flush it properly, in my opinion. Number three of things that I do not like about the 3G, and that will be the aftermarket support. Now, I'm coming from back in the day when it was easy to get parts for the 3G. There was supercharger kits made it from RIP mods. You know, Tearstone, API, X-Tech, they were making turbo kits for the car. You had a DDP, which was not the best turbo kit, but it was still a turbo kit out there. And just now, I'm just learning that a lot of the parts that I knew that were available for the 3G are no longer available anymore. So it's kind of upsetting knowing that a lot of aftermarket companies that make parts for the 3G just don't want to partake in them. And I understand that there's not a lot of demand for the parts, so why I keep making them? So that is another reason why I do not like the 3G. Number four, for things I do not like about the 3G, will be how unpopular it is. Now, I did say in my previous video that I do like the fact that it's unpopular, but there are a couple of cons to it. So let's just say I decide to bring my 3G to a shop for tuning. And it uses ECU flash, same thing that Evo owners use. A lot of shops don't want to touch the 3G because they're unfamiliar with it. So that is that is one reason why that I don't like the 3G is because it's very hard to basically get things done to the car because a lot of shops don't know a lot about it. And the final thing that I do not like about the 3G will be the weight of the car. Now... If it's your daily driver, then this just doesn't partake in for you. But for me, as someone who tracks the car, I removed every piece of interior out of this car. And literally, it was only maybe 100, maybe 200 pounds. I think it was just 100 pounds. Because I remember I removed the back seats and all that good stuff. And it was still, with the quarter of a tank, was still close to 3,000 pounds. Now, currently, if you guys have seen how my car is with the two racing seats, actually, I'll take it back. With the one racing seat, everything completely gutted and actually going above and beyond and doing more, uh, you know, weight reduction, I'm at 2,700 pounds, which, in my opinion, the great lengths that I went to get that is pretty extreme. To me, it's just the weight of the car is way too heavy, especially for the power output that it has. 
And that's it, guys. Quick video, like I said, this is the top five things that I do not like about the 3G. Um, I know that a lot of other people will disagree or agree to it. I would love to hear you guys' comments or what you guys don't like about the 3G. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.